Hello, everyone. Welcome to Conference Speaker Spotlight Program. It's a technology program. The object of this Conference Speaker Spotlight is about you understand about who is our conference speaker and what kind of topics they're presenting about. So that's the object of this Conference Speaker Spotlight managed by technologies. Today, we're going to introduce about the conference speaker at IRC 2022, which will be held uh, during the 24 to 26 November 2022 in Bangalore, and it is organized by the Indian Rubber Institute. And Technobase is supporting this IRC 22 to promote the all the activities at the IRC 2022. So we're all here for the, the conference speaker spotlight. Today we have a a group of young researchers they will be introducing their topics and uh, the highlights of the research work through this spotlight program and we have um, a group of researchers as i mentioned a group of researchers from the soft matter group from the school of engineering and material science queen mary university of london from the united kingdom so I welcome to all the you know the young researchers from the software soft matter group uh, to introduce about their research work through this conference speaker spotlight program. The first speaker I'd like to invite is Ms. Anurit Kaur. She's a researcher at the Queen Mary University of London. Anurit. Hello, Pranam. Um, thank you for this opportunity to show um, showcase my research on um, effectively what was part of my PhD studies, which I recently completed. Um, in this conference, I will be um, talking about this um, the effect that the thiolene reaction has on uh, double bond containing elastomers such as natural rubber, um, polyfluorobene rubber, polybutadiene rubber and um, effectively why I'm going to talk about this particular topic and that is uh, because um, um, my project is actually sponsored by an industry so the beer group PLC and uh, they wanted us to develop a new material that could um, overstand like outstand some uh, particular mechanical properties um, that are for those materials that are currently being used in the mining industry and um, in particular, they wanted me to make them self-healable and recyclable. And we know that the current uh, cross-thinking system is actually not allowing us to achieve both properties. Um, so we needed to look for a different type of curing mechanism. And that's why I will be talking about the thiolene reaction in particular and what sort of effect it has if you're curing a rubber with it. Okay, great. Thank you, Anurit. I look forward to seeing you in um, IRC 2022. Thank you. I'll see you there. Okay. Next, I'd like to invite uh, Kirsty Rutherford from uh, Queen Mary University of London. Kirsty? So yeah, thanks for the opportunity to let me showcase your work. So at IRC 2022, I'll be discussing sound rubber characterization. Um, this is a very important method which allows us to gain better insight into the polymer filler interaction that occurs in rubber. And the reason for doing this research is because I'm focused on trying to develop a better filler system to sort of help reinforce rubber. Um, I'm also sponsored by industry. And what we're looking for is rubber that withstands very harsh pressure, high temperature. And this sort of means we're, we're looking into the filler reinforcement and trying to optimize this. Now, bound rubber is an interesting characterized methodization method because it indirectly allows us to look at polymer filler interactions, but as of yet, there's no real um, industry standard how we characterize bound rubber, and different test methods lead to completely different results. So what I'm trying to do is create a more of a standard approach, which can give us more and you know tell us more information about how the polymer and filler are interacting, 
which is a key fundamental thing to look inside when understanding reinforcement in rubber. Um, I'm really excited to see you in ILC 2020. Thank you, Kirsty. Now I invite uh, Aaron Duncan, who's a research from the Queen Mary University of London. Aaron. Hello, thank you for inviting me. Um, hello, Arathi. I'm Aaron Duncan from Queen Mary South Matter Group, and I want to give a presentation on the effects of crack growth rate, looking at initiation and propagation. This is a small part of my PhD. Whilst looking into trouser tear tests, I've used methods that some of you will be more familiar with and some new methods that have recently come out of Queen Mary University. And by comparing and contrasting those two methods, I found some interesting conclusions that uh, weren't originally revealed when looking at just one method. So if you want to find out what I was able to find, then please come to my talk at IRC in Bangalore. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you very much. I invite uh, Giacomo Sasso, a researcher at the Queen Mary University of London. Hi, hello everyone. Thank you so much for the opportunity to showcase my project. So during the IRC conference, I'm gonna talk about uh, a fluid mixer device. Um, as you may know, uh, there's a broad range of application which requires the ability to manipulate and pattern liquids by controlling their flow dynamics. And here we are presenting a mixing device, mixer, uh, which actuation system is based on an innovative um, one, which is uh, the electric elastomer actuators. And they are essentially, uh, they can be essentially thought as uh, rubber bands that can stretch and create motion on, upon applying a, a voltage. So um, I'm very excited to participate to the conference and I, I, I invite you all to, to come to the conference and um, share with us all the ideas. Thank you so much. Thank you, Giacomo. Okay, now I invite all the researchers to come on board, um, uh, get to know each other more. Open your cameras, please. Hi there. How are you? Thank you very much for joining this um, uh, conference speaker spotlight uh, for the IRC 2022. Uh, guys, have we have you ever been to Bangalore before? It's the first time. It looks like everybody's moving ahead. It's the first time. Yeah. Uh, Bangalore is one of the best cities in India. You know, uh, you can explore. Uh, I think, are you guys planning for uh, staying longer in India? After conference, what's the plan like? Anirudh, Anirudh, are you planning to stay longer after the conference? So, um, yes, yeah, so basically we are coming um, two days um, in advance. Um, so we're coming on a Monday and then we have, maybe it's a Tuesday, I need to revise that basically. So we'll have an extra day to actually visit the city, so that would be nice. Um, okay. Yeah. So you, you guys are staying only two days, or the same thing with everyone? Only two days in India after the conference? No, before yeah. the conference. Yeah. Okay, after the conference, are you guys staying longer after the conference? No. Okay, yeah, you should plan next time. Next time, you know, stay longer. Uh, you know, as you know, it's, it, we call it incredible India. We have a lot of diversity um, in terms of the culture, habits, um, uh, customs, uh, from the south to you. So the cities, Bangalore is in the southern part of India. Okay, and also you can see a lot of, I think you, I'm not sure one day you should go to the Agra, or, you know, Taj Mahal, or with the, hopefully with your family members or husband or wife. Yeah. Okay, so that is, you should have the plan in the future. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you for the, for the audience to understand, um, as, you, as I understand personally, Queen Mary University of London is, provides excellent research on 
I think you're from the School of uh, Material Science. Um, can you talk about your soft matter group? What's all about the soft matter group? Giacomo, you want to talk about it or Anurit? Yeah, who wants to take the lead? So um, the soft matter group is um, a, a primary based research group that is run by Professor James Busfield. Um, and um, he basically actually took over from um, uh, Thomas, who was before him, uh, essentially. So it's been quite a few years now that this group has been working on rubber related projects. Um, um, this, and uh, we've been working on different type of projects sponsored by quite a lot of industries, like we have Samba J, we have Weir, in my case. Um, in particular, we have Berla. Uh, so um, it's also the largest group in the UK at the moment, working on rubber related, related projects. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, um, the outline of it. Then we are almost in around about 15 people. So between PhD students, postdocs, um, and professors, because apart from James Busfield, we also have Keiso Kotagawa, for example, as a visiting professor that works with us. Um, then each of our projects is actually uh, supervised by another uh, professor. So in my case, my PhD studies were um, supervised by also Professor Julian Gautreau, uh, who helped me for the chemistry related aspects of my project. Um, and uh, Dr. Gabriel Cavalli, for example, then I guess I will let the others uh, talk about uh, their um, supervision from all around us. Okay, Aaron, you like to talk about your additional points with your research and also with other facilities at the Queen Mary? Yeah. Yeah, so as uh, with the others, I'm part of the soft matter group, uh, the James Busfield. Uh, it's a very large group looking into all sorts of rubber, uh, looking at tyres, looking at carbon black, looking at um, oil and gas. Uh, so my, in particular, my project is on uh, Euroelastomers ageing in extreme environments. So those are the environments we find in drilling for geothermal energy, for example, and as well as being supported by Queen, supported by Slumberjay. Uh, and my supervisor there is Julian Rayner, who's uh, very helpful in in everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm very happy to be part of the soft matter group and helping represent SlumJ and show off some of my research. Okay, Kirsty. Yeah, I'm the same as Aaron. So I'm also supervised by SlumJ. Um, so I have Julian, who is in industry, helping me along with my and I think that's what I really like about being in the soft matter group is that we've got such deep um, ties with industry. And when I chose to study it for a PhD, I didn't want to sort of just stay in ac academic, you know, academia. I really want my research to make a difference um, in, in industry. And so I think for me, the greatest thing about being in this group is the ties that we have with industry where we can actually hopefully make real changes rather than just stay on an academic level in the lab. Great. Giacomo? Yes, uh, so my first supervisor is James Busfield, of course. Uh, I'm working on the electric elastomer actuator, so he's the expert on uh, the rubbery, uh, rubbery aspects of uh, the device. Uh, my second supervisor is from University of Florence, Italy, and he's uh, Federico Carpi is the one expert on is the expert on uh, dielectric elastomer actuators. And I also have a third supervisor, which is Nicola Pugno uh, from University of Trento, Italy, uh, which is the expert on graphene, because uh, my PhD is on uh, dielectric elastomer actuators, um, which uh, electrodes are made out of graphene. So, yeah. I'm very excited and happy to have all of these expert people and uh, being part of the soft matter group is very good because we can share ideas because uh, we are actually working with the same material with different applications so it's very nice. Fantastic it looks like you have a lot of innovations and active research is happening at uh, Queen Mary University. You, you shortly QMUL it is a people call it QMUL is a short short name it yeah. 
and uh, I think as yeah. a, I think it's all of you should um, appreciate uh, Professor James to send you to IRC events so that you also promote what you guys are doing at the same time you also learn what's happening other other side of the world you know so uh, sending as a group is a good for all of you I think get exposure in, in at the IRC 2022 uh, so. Uh, do you have like what can you talk about the uh, QMUL in terms of the programs they offer other than the PhD? They do, do they have a master's programs in terms of the polymer science? Or do what kind of uh, if somebody wanted to study at QM, QMUL, what is your guidelines for them? Anurit, take the lead. So um, unfortunately, I didn't really study in QMUL. I just came here to do a PhD. But my impression of this university is that um, you do have a lot of resources. You do have a very supportive network of professors and students and um, also representatives. Um, so I think any course is actually a good one in PMARI. So um, I'm biased by engineering and material science and also chemistry. Um, I had a very positive experience in these three years. Um, so yeah, really depends on what your interests are. And I'm pretty sure Queen Mary covers most of them from medical to engineering to economics. Um, so we do have a, a wide range of undergrad pro um, programs. We have a wide range of master programs as well. Um, in terms of PhD, we are about 200 PhD students. Um, in terms of postdoc team, uh, I think it's about 50 to 60 postdocs in, in, in just engineering and material science. Um, so yeah, and it's growing actually. We, it's, th these numbers are actually growing every year. So it's great and wonderful. And, and we are increasing the dimension of our campuses as well. So yeah, it's a wonderful environment to work in. Say. It looks like a great place to study and do research. Yeah, spend a few years time at QMUL. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great guys. You know you are at the right place, and I'm happy that you're coming to IRC 2022. I look forward to seeing you. Okay, any final message to the audience um, to give them um, welcome you all to the you know to the IRC 2022. I'd like to give a final message, Giacomo. Sure. Um, I'm very happy to, to come to India. Uh, it's a very nice experience and I welcome everyone to come and join the, the conference because it's a place where we can actually share ideas and uh, uh, have a chat about all the projects we, we're going to present. So uh, come to the IRC 2022. Fantastic. Kirsty? Yeah, I'm just really excited to share ideas and yeah, get some more exposure to some other you know people around the world doing the same or similar work to me. But, yeah, I'm just really excited. And, yeah. Super. Adam. Yeah, really excited to come down to uh, Bangalore. Uh, can't wait to see everyone there. So hopefully, as many people as possible come to IRC 2022. I'm very excited to come to India, back to India. Um, Bangalore might be the newest city I will actually visit. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to actually um, share again uh, something that is related to my PhD. Super. So guys, uh, that's the session when the uh, conference speaker spotlight. You, now you know who are the speakers, what kind of topics they're going to speak. And you see all the bright minds are coming from um, Queen Mary University of London. Meet them, talk to them, learn from them, and also you, you can share your side of stories to them as well. I'm hoping that um, all the speakers as well as the audience find it in a you know useful, productive, enjoyable experience at the IRC 2022. See you there. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>